Hello and welcome to another video by Cash Happy. I'm your host, Alex. I own Sweeney Sports here in Napa. Behind me, in fact, is Napa River. And today my goal is to show you how to set up for striper fishing on the bank. It doesn't matter if you're on a lake, there's a lot of landlocked stripers, or if you're on a bay, or if you're on a bank of the river like I am today. Stripers are exceptional fish to catch. A, they're great eater. B, they're excellent fighter, fighters, and they have instincts. They're aggressive and they're great fighters. So let's get into this and show you two main ways to fish for stripers from the bank. Number one is bait fishing. Let me show you what you need for bait fishing. But before I do that, the concept of bait fishing is you put your bait in this in our case could be anchovy which is very common and stripers love that you can buy that in any bait shop those anchovies uh, you put them on the bottom uh, and when stripers are cruising around looking to feed they will smell the juices coming out of anchovy and it will go down and eat that from the bottom now stripers are both um, will both take lures and midwater uh, attractants like you know swim baits and stuff like that but they will absolutely love an anchovy sitting on the bottom of the river and uh, just kind of releasing its juices and um, they'll go and grab that now the first thing you need obviously is the rod now um, the rod I have here is a three-piece travel rod so I don't necessarily have the beefiest of the rods out there but I don't find myself really needing that the reel, you can get any reel as long as it's 5,000 size or above, maybe 4,000 size, and that's just different size of the reel. This particular one is Avenger ABF 55B. I like this reel because it's inexpensive and it can also fit in a lot of line. Sometimes you have to cast far away, sometimes you have to fight the fish back to the bank, and so you want a lot of line. In this particular case, or for stripers in general, for bait fishing, I recommend a braid. This is a 25 pound braid, which is in my opinion, plenty for a striper of just about up to 10, 15 pounds. It's just, this, this rod will do just fine. Now let's talk through the setup. Well, let's actually talk through the stuff you need to have in front of you before you start on your setup. Sliding sinker, bead, snap swivel, weight. Depending on where you are fishing, depending on the current, uh, this particular weight is four ounce river sinker, but Depending on where you are, you can have a lot lighter weight or even heavier weight than this. Next is bait buttons. I'll show you how to use those. Those are kind of key. Another piece of really, really important equipment is your um, uh, magic thread or string. And then finally your bait, the anchovy. All right, let's see how it all comes together. All right, so here's your line coming from the rod, right? You got it through all the ears. It's coming from the, from the rod. And what you want to do is put those the sliding sinker right onto the line. Next goes the bead. And finally, this terminates at the snap swivel. So this is your setup before you put the actual leader on. So the leader will have the hook. Now you can tie your own leaders and recommended length is anywhere from 12 to 20 inches, just depends what you want to do. Probably 18 inches is best, but you can do, um, you can experiment with different length of leaders. Now from here, we're gonna clip a leader that's terminated with a hook and we're gonna bait the hook. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Now here's your striper leader. Now I don't really, sometimes I tie my own leaders, but it's easiest to go to the shop, your local tackle shop, and buy pre-made leaders. It will actually say striper leaders. And that way you have nicely snelled hook and you have the appropriate size line. In this particular case, this is probably like 30 pound line and it's already ready to go. So we're just gonna go ahead and use that the right length, everything else. So I'd recommend you go that route instead of tying your own leaders, but you can do your own leaders as well. So we're just gonna put it on the swivel. We gotta clip it in place and voila, we have set up almost ready, except that we need to clip our weight. So in this case, the tides are going out see so it's getting a little shallower so I need a little bit stronger weight so I'm gonna put my four ounce river sinker on okay just like so and now here's my setup all together 
Okay, you got line, go into sliding sinker. The idea is the sinker slides. So when the fish bites, it's not fighting the sinker, it's right away tipping your rod so you know something is on. And then after the sinker, sliding sinker, you get your leader and then that ends with the hook. Now let me show you how to put the anchovy on. So step one with anchovy is you wanna cut the head off and I'll tell you why in a moment. Cut the head off. Okay? Cut the tail off. And another thing you want to do, you want to score it. The reason why I score anchovy is because you want maximum juice coming out of this bait. So when stripers are cruising around, they have a great sense of smell. They'll smell your bait and they'll come and get it. Okay? That's the idea. So let's go ahead and bait this, bait the anchovy. And here I'm gonna show you a couple of very important tricks, okay, that you need to know if you wanna be successful fishing with stripers. I would put it right there through the spine and pull it all the way through the shank of the hook. Now the important thing is you gotta keep the bait right here so your business end of the hook is ready to execute um, your catch. So step one is you grab your magic thread. Now there's no real elegant way to do this so it's not supposed to be pretty and you just want to tie this piece of anchovy onto your hook like so if you don't use the magic thread what's gonna happen is the stripers will just take your bait off and swim them away with it so you're feeding stripers instead of fishing for stripers and that's the truth. All right, now this is a little trick that I've learned over the years that is unimaginably good, okay? And that is putting a bait button. Now this thing, it's called bait buttons. Um, and you can use a little special tool for it, but I just grab a bait button. And it's basically a round piece of silicon. That's what that is. And you put it onto the hook, through the hook, Careful not to pinch yourself like so, and all the way down to your bait, so it holds that bait in place, because you want this end open. And this is the mistake a lot of newbies make. So we try to cover the hook with the bait so the fish doesn't see it. Wrong, don't want to do that. You want to put the bait, for striper fishing, you want to put the bait all the way down to the shank of the hook and keep the business end open for business. All right, so I think we're ready. Our setup is ready, let's go ahead and cast it. So this is how your setup looks when it's ready for business. You got a sliding sinker, okay? And you got a leader with anchovy on the shank of the hook with the business end of the hook exposed. Now let me show you how to cast. You wanna reel it up. It's about five to seven inches from the tip, okay? Let's put that there. Grab your trigger finger, grab the line, open your bail. Now you're ready to cast. I'm gonna go down all the way there, put it behind me and cast out. Okay, because it's a low tide, I need to go down on some steps and get some distance for this particular cast. So let's find out. All right, I'm down here, I'm ready to cast. I'm gonna put it right behind me. I'm gonna flick the tip. I'm gonna hold my rod firmly and release my trigger finger so the line freeze pulls all the way out to where I want it to be which is, uh, I'd say, one-third of the way into the river, so let's see. All right, now I'm just going to leave it open, the bail open. I'm going to walk it up. Now I'm going to lock it. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for a second for the line to sink. Then I'm going to tighten it up. Make sure it's tight. And ideally, you want to put a bell here. I don't have another bell on me, but you want to put a bell here so when the bite happens, you can hear it. Hopefully, I'll show you the bite and fight today, but you never know. With fishing, it's not catching, it's fishing. So that's your bait fishing for striper setup. So there, we're fishing for striper now.
All right, we've covered bait fishing for stripers. Now we're gonna talk about lure fishing for stripers. It's a very effective way to catch stripers as they're very aggressive. But you gotta have the right equipment and the right lure to entice them for a bite. So let's get through, let's go through what we need to have. So first of all, you wanna have a rod like so. You don't need huge reel, but uh, you wanna have at least 12 pound line because those stripers can get aggressive. In this particular case, I have 8.6 foot uh, rod because I like to cast, I like the cast distance of it. It's an Akuma Celio. It's really an exceptional, exceptional rod for, for me. Now there'll be a million different opinions and in the comment, put, put your, uh, your favorite rod you use for uh, lure fishing for striper, but that's what I use. I have a bunch of different ones, but the Celio one seems to be re working really well. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna, at the end of your line coming from the rod, you wanna tie this snap swivel, and this way you can change different lures very quickly to see what they're gonna like. Now, first one I'm gonna show you, it's called, this is called a rattle trap. Now there's a million different colors, different brands. This particular one is Lucky Strike, but they're about 17 to $20. They're expensive, they're made in Japan, but this is exceptional lure for striper for a couple of reasons. Number one, hear that? Oh, striper go nuts. They're very aggressive and the sound helps. They can't see, they can hear and uh, uh, sense the vibration of this lure and they're gonna go attack. So this setup, setup is what's called a swim bait. It, you buy these plastic, this is a Kitek brand. You buy this plastic separately and you buy what's called a jig head with a hook and then you connect the two. Now what I like to do on this particular one is I like to cut the head off a little bit like that so it's flatter here. Then it has a little split side on the spine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna position it up like so, put the hook through and get the hook all the way until the, about the white part. I'm gonna let the hook come out and the head goes in and there you have it. Now the, the jig head is heavy, so the idea is the bait flutters down, and a lot of times you get bites on the down. So I'm gonna show you how, how to actually use it in the water. But the idea is you wanna let it, you wanna cast it, let it dive down, pick it back up, and walk the bottom with it. You can reel, or you can just use the tip of your rod to, show, to, to get action on this. I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. So let's go and uh, put it in the water and see what happens. All right, so we got our swim bait fully hooked up to the swivel, right through a jig head. It has a special little ear, and now we're ready to fish, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to cast. I'm gonna show you how to uh, invoke specific action that Striper might be interested in. So I'm gonna go down to the water, and I'm gonna show you how to cast this. Same concept, you wanna have it about four or five inches, maybe six, from the tip of the rod, you wanna grab your line with your trigger finger, open up the bale, get it behind you, and flick it out. Now the jig head has enough weight, I'll close the bale, as soon as it lands. The jig head has enough weight to go down. I'm just gonna wait for it to go down, reel up a little bit. And now I'm just gonna use the tip of my rod for action. Up, up a little bit, let it fall, reel in. Up, up a little bit, let it fall, reel in. Now change it up. Now you can just reel. Up, up, reel. Let it die. Up, up, reel, let it die. Very similar concept for a hard bait or rattle trap in our case. Swivel to the hook on the lure and then we're gonna go cast it. This action is you pretty much cast, let it die for a little bit and then start slowly retreating. This is pretty simple. So let's go ahead and put it to use. I'll show you how to do this. About four or five inches from the tip. Open up the bale, have your trigger finger here. 
Like get out. Now this one goes a little further because it's heavier. And we're just gonna retrieve. And I'm gonna keep my tip up just in case I have a bite. There's a, I can absorb it. And that's how you cast a hard bait. All right. Now you know how to bait fish and lure fish for striper, but I wanna give you a couple of uh, kind of tips that really helped me out when I was starting out. Number one is you need to know how to tie a knot. So uh, go on YouTube, look at different knot types for fishing, find a one and practice, 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 because if your knot fails, you're not fishing, you're really just feeding fish. So that's number one. Number two is casting. You gotta practice casting. So. It's not something that's naturally gonna come to you because there's a process to it. You know, you, you get the reel in the right position, and then you pull your trigger finger, pull the line off, then you open up the bail, then you swing back, then you cast, and when the, uh, the bait reaches about, I don't know, but vertically, and it's, it's on its way, then you release the finger to let the free spool and uh, get your cast in distance. So those two things you gotta practice. Without those, you will be hard pressed to be successful in the water bait fishing, even if you follow all my tips. If you don't know how to cast, or your cast is not consistent, and you're not to untie, then um, you will be in a little bit of trouble. But get those two things figured out. Uh, go to catchhappy.co. You can purchase your own striper kit. We have different kinds of striper kits that come with everything you need. We also have rods and reels specific design for it. We're swinging by our shop here in Napa, Sweeney Sports. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you put the skills you've learned today to good use. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. Ta-ta.